high in the forest canopy of Sumatra, Indonesia, a baby takes its first steps alone. Not a human baby, not a TikTok dancer or a toddler with an iPad. This is a baby Thomas Leaf monkey, and they're figuring out jungle life the hard way. At just a few weeks old, they're already climbing, balancing, and exploring without training wheels. Their hands grip tight, their eyes are locked in, but make no mistake, this is not play, it's instinct. One bad slip and gravity wins. And if they wander too far from mom, a leopard snake or tiger could make them disappear. In a jungle where gravity always wins, mistakes are expensive. Before we go further, let me introduce myself. My name is Wilson Sembering. I was born in the Karo Highlands of North Sumatra, not far from these very rainforests. What you're about to see is more than just wildlife footage. It's a glimpse into the canopy world I've grown up beside and a chance to understand how our choices ripple through it. Thomas leaf monkeys may not be the most famous primates in the world, but they're among the most acrobatic and least understood. They live exclusively in the tropical highlands of northern Sumatra, usually above 1,000 meters. Places with mist, moss, and a silence broken only by the rustle of leaves. Their lifestyle is entirely arboreal, meaning tree-bound. They sleep in the trees, eat in the trees, raised their young in the trees. And if you invited them to dinner, they'd expect a canopy seat and a branch to lean on. These monkeys are folivores, eating mainly young leaves, fruits, and flowers. And they're picky. This is the silvered leaf monkey, cloaked in gray, quiet in posture, and endlessly watchful. Their fur reflects the light like ash and silver, but what really turns heads is their young. Born with fur the color of a ripe tangerine, baby silvered monkeys look like they've taken a wrong turn from a Pixar film. And that bright color, it's not a fashion choice. It's a biological beacon, a signal to the entire troop. Help me, guard me, feed me. In these matriarchal groups, mothers aren't the only caregivers. Aunts, sisters, even unrelated females will cradle, clean, and protect the newborn like their own. It's called alloparenting, a cooperative system that strengthens bonds and boosts survival. The baby's orange coat slowly fades over its first few months as independence grows. But that bright beginning leaves an imprint, not just on the troop, but on anyone lucky enough to witness it. Like their Thomas Leaf cousins, silvered monkeys are folivores, feasting on tender young leaves, fruits, and flowers. They rest often, digest slowly and live high in the canopy, rarely descending to the forest floor. To some, their lives seem uneventful, but their slowness is a kind of wisdom. They've survived for thousands of years by staying small, silent, and above the noise. In a jungle that rewards awareness, they are masters of subtlety. No bold colors, no loud calls, just rhythm, routine, and resilience. And somehow, from that quiet, a blaze of orange life begins again. 
if the Thomas leaf monkeys are poets and the silvered leaf monkeys are monks, then these guys, these are the comedians. This is the long-tailed macaque, Sumatra's most extroverted primate. Part Jim Bro, part thief, part joker. You'll find them everywhere. In forests, rivers, near villages, near your picnic basket. Unlike their leaf-eating cousins, macaques are omnivores. Fruit, check. Insects, check. Garbage bin outside your tent, sadly. Also check. They live in large social groups, sometimes 50 strong with a strict dominance hierarchy. It's kind of like high school, but with more tail biting and fewer clicks on Instagram. At the bottom, the juveniles. Small, loud, chaotic, and endlessly entertaining. But what looks like fun is serious business. These young macaques are developing the balance, reflexes, and confidence they'll need to climb trees, escape danger, and eventually challenge the pecking order. Macaques have been recorded using tools, washing food, and even bartering. One study from Bali showed them stealing sunglasses from tourists, then trading them back for fruit. Call it Monkey Capitalism 101, yet even the cleverest macaque isn't safe. As deforestation continues, many troops are being forced out of their jungle homes, pushed toward human settlements, where survival becomes conflict. If this story moved you, if you want to keep the rainforest alive, not just in memory, but in motion. Subscribe to our channel. It takes one click to protect what takes centuries to grow. And if you like this video, give it a like. It tells the algorithm these monkeys matter. And maybe, just maybe, They'll earn a few more seconds of the world's attention. Thanks from all of us on the Orangutan STEM team. I hope you enjoyed our video and check out our channel.